There was a time when video games and characters in them were made purely from imagination, depending on the type of game or the artist coming out with the characters. If there was going to be a character made from a real life person, then said game would be a movie tie-in with the star, actor or actress modeled after. But in recent and modern gaming, there's come to be a lot of actors or models who have given their likeness or voice and sometimes both to the game they are working on. And that brings me to this video. Here are top 11 female video game characters and their face models. Now starting off, we have Ellie from The Last of Us 2. Samara Cohn was the face model of Ellie, but the one who voices the character has been Ashley Johnson since 2013's part 1. Samara is an actress, model, and singer who gained name for herself over the years. She's pretty much well known not only in acting but in commercials, advertisements, brand covers and more. Looking at her face, you may find her familiar cause you might have seen her in a commercial such as Star Wars, Amazon, Walmart and many many more. Now next up we have Senua from Senua Saga. After the professional actress who was meant to play Senua left the project early in the development of the game, Ninja Theory lacked the budget to bring in another one. Melina Jorgens, who was already working for them in making developer diaries and behind the scenes stuff, was asked to try on the motion capture equipment to help the developers run some tests, was later given a script to enact a particular scene for them as well. Though hesitant at first, since she had never acted before and shy as well, she still tried it. She gave such an amazing performance that she was offered the role, which she later accepted. And fast forward 2022, we are waiting for the sequel to this amazing game. And now we have Laughing Octopus from Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. As much as a good game Metal Gear Solid 4 was and Hideo Kojima going crazy with his games as always, one of the most memorable parts were the villains, the Beauty and the Beast unit, also known as the BMB unit. They were laughing octopus, raging raven, crying wolf, screaming mantis. But in this list, we are talking about laughing octopus played by the South African Blender Jarvis. She is a model and also a TV presenter born and raised in Cape Town. She was named the sexiest woman in South Africa in 2009 by FHM and we can all see why Laughing Octopus was modeled after her. And starting at number 8, we have Danny Ruas from Far Cry 6. Lisa Gandas is a Toronto-born Canadian actress who after graduating decided to pursue her acting career. She is best known in Designated Survivor, Working Moms and Good Witch and provided a likeness and voice for the female Danny you can play as in Far Cry 6. She auditioned for a different role but was offered Danny instead as she said later in an interview. I guess she did so well that offering her a role less than Danny would have been an insult not only to her as an actress but to the character Danny as well. And up next, we have Miranda Lawson from the Mass Effect franchise. Yvonne Strahovski is an Australian popular actress known for her role in the recent The Tomorrow War, Chuck, Dexter, and also in the Hulu drama series The Handmaid's Tale, among others, and has received several awards and nominations, including Primetime Emmy and Screen Actors Guild Award, and also won a Golden Globe. She provided her likeness and voiced Miranda Lawson since Mass Effect Galaxy to Mass Effect 3. To many fans, Miranda Lawson was seen as the sex symbol for the Mass Effect franchise. Not only was she beautiful, she was also strong as well and she had so much impact on the character that her surname was changed from Sohim to Dawson to better suit Yvonne's Australian accent. And at the normal C spot, we have Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 3 Remake. When the remake of Resident Evil 3 was announced, people thought that maybe, just maybe, Julia Vought, who has served as the character model for Jill in the Resident Evil franchise, will be providing her likeness again. It wasn't that much of a surprise though when she was replaced by the gorgeous Russian Sasha Zotova who has been modeling for 11 years. Soon after that, she started her YouTube channel to react and play the game and has seen grown to more than just the Resident Evil Play channel. And now we have Nico from Devil May Cry 5. One of the talked about things when Devil May Cry 5 was revealed was the character Nico. She stood out right away not only because of her beauty, clothes and tattoos but also her distinctive voice and quirky fan personality. 
Soon after gamers played the game, common thing was, who was she modeled after, since it was the first Devil May Cry game to model its characters after real people. After a while, it was revealed to be Emily Bador, a British model who rose to fame on Instagram for her body positive post. Cosmopolitan, LUK and Allure are among the brands that she's been featured in and has been known to stand up against the industry's unrealistic modeling expectations with her pictures and videos. Up next, we have Jesse Faden from Control. If you have been watching The Bold and The Beautiful, you would have instantly recognized her when you picked up the game. Courtney Hope is an American actress known for a variety of roles in movies and TV, such as Transparent, The Young and The Restless, among others. She's also portrayed the character Beth Wilder in Remedy's previous game, Quantum Break, which in my opinion is one of the most underrated games in the industry right now. And you may have also recognized her from there. It's no wonder Remedy wanted to work with her again as she gave an amazing performance in that game and clearly she fit the character that they wanted for control. At the third spot, we have Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn and the recent Horizon Forbidden West. Hannah Hoekstra is a Dutch actress who got a breakthrough in the film industry in 2012 when she starred in Hamel, which earned her Golden Calf Award at the Netherlands Film Festival and was also nominated for a Rebrandt Award. She has since starred in a variety of movies and TV. The developer, who was also a Dutch, had looked at hundreds of faces but just couldn't decide on which one fit the character that they wanted to make. And then one of the producers sat down to watch TV one day at home after he was sick and coincidentally saw her and it just clicked for him. This was five months before the reveal at E3 and it was a kept secret for almost two years before reveal. Up next, we have Quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain. Stephanie Justin is a Dutch actress, model and singer living currently in Japan. She first gained massive popularity when she was revealed to be providing her likeness and voice for the character Quiet in Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain in 2015. Speaking on how she was cast as the silent but deadly sniper, she said she was so intrigued by Japanese culture that she decided to study Japanese at university. She then visited Japan and got her master's degree in Tokyo and during all that time, she also got in touch with a casting agency who specialized in western models and decided to stay in Japan after making some living with a modeling career. After a while, she received a phone call to audition for a game and since she has been gaming for years, she accepted even though she didn't know which game it was. After she met Hideo Kojima, she sort of had an idea of what it might be. She got the role after auditions due to experience in video games and handling weapons which the girls didn't have a clue about since the entire audition was about them holding a gun and pretending to act as if they were in a battle of some sort. She went on to get her face captured in 3D and received professional combat training afterwards. And at number 1, we have Pan Am from the Cyberpunk 2077. At this point, many gamers know the reputation that Cyberpunk 2077 has garnered for itself. I mean, it didn't launch well, so many bugs, glitches, but now after they've released patch 1.5, they've been receiving praise for some of the things that they've been able to fix, but not entirely, there are some things that still need improvements. Now, one of the best parts of Cyberpunk was Pan Am, and honestly, people were going crazy over her, her outfit, her physique, her beauty, her strength, her character, her attitude to do whatever the heck she wants without stopping for nobody else. Like she was honestly a hit for many fans. And after it was released, people now started to look for which voice model and which face model she was, you know, made after. And people couldn't find anything, but then they saw Tristan Mays. Let's do the 2016 TV series MacGyver, a vampire diary, Supergirl, among a variety of movies and TV shows. Tristan Mays was spotted having striking resemblance with Pan Am from the Cyberpunk game. The popular actress tweeted and even posted on Instagram after fans called out to her on this. On Instagram, she went in even further about how fans brought up her look-alike and how she may have found her favorite video game character. I mean, Panam is an amazing character. I mean, it's no surprise Tristan fell in love with her after she also got the game and played it. CD Projekt Red have not confirmed whether Panam was modeled after her, but looking at the uncanny resemblance, doesn't take a genius to know that she was the face behind the character. 
and that's it for the list as i said in the intro these faces and models made us fall in love with the characters among other things such as the voice personality and the story of the game they were in all these exist to balance each other and create a beloved character or protagonist that we love to follow and that's it for the video i hope you subscribe turn on that post notification bell for more updates and videos for your entertainment pleasure i'll be posting and making more videos like these i've already made beautiful female video game characters and there's going to be more to come on the gaming side on the movie side tv show side and anime side so far as an entertainment video i'll be able to provide it for you for your pleasure as always nerdy sage here see you in the next video